At this point, we want to um, tape the shock cord in place so that the rocket will hang horizontally um, as it's coming down. Uh, this gives more surface area in addition to the parachute or the streamer so that it descends slower. Um, to do this, you're going to need a rocket motor and a spent engine because by the time it's coming down, the engine has fired. So you'll put that in your rocket engine mount. And don't forget to add the tape because you're going to have tape on the outside. And basically, this is what holds the engine in. Okay. So once you tape it, that's how you would launch this rocket. You would tape the motor in. That prevents it from sliding. Um, and now we need to find the balance point with the motor installed. And so I'm just balancing it on my finger. And it looks to be about like right there, which is for this particular rocket between the, the two E's. Um, <clears throat> for this step, we're going to tape it. And I'm using uh, strapping tape uh, because it's stronger than masking tape. We're going to need a strip approximately a quarter of an inch wide. So I'm just putting it on the table and make sure your table is cleaned when you do this so that you don't get anything on the on the gummy part. So I'm going to lay the shock cord straight along the fin because we want it nice and tight. And then I'm going to lay it like there. I'm just going to temporarily just test it. So I'm not pushing down the tape yet. I want to just test it to make sure that it lays or suspends horizontally, which I think I'm pretty good right there. And then once you get it into the right spot, then go ahead and press it down hard so that it doesn't come off. Okay, so now the, the shock cord is anchored right here. That gives it the strength. And then this gives it so that it hangs horizontally. Now the shock cord eventually might pull through that tape um, or, or rip the tape. So then you'll just reapply it later as needed. 